back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an hourly rate video and also a scrap marathon video at the same time of um, ceramic oscillators. As you know, they're kind of hard to tell the yield, they're all different, but they're normally about anywhere between 5 to 10 grams of gold per kilo. So we're just going to spend an hour and just see how many I can get. So you've got a pot here. They're nice and easy to do. So all I've got to do is get an empty pot and we'll just go through the boards until we find some. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. As soon as I get a thousand subscribers, I can keep mentioning. I'm doing a 24 hour live stream of um, just doing boards. So we'll start with this. So all we do, where's my chisel there? Got a chisel and a hammer. Nice and simple. You just go down, make sure it's perfectly flat, otherwise it breaks it up. And just tap it. Comes off nice and easy or whole. I'm gonna do it in this empty pot just so we can get a uh, just see how much we've removed. Um most boards should have one, but it's kinda of hard to see because they're quite small. Right, so I'm just going to pause the video and I'll get the boxes ready. Right, so I've got a big box. I've got three of these actually, but a big box of old walkie-talkies. And the majority of them have a uh, oscillator one, nice ceramic oscillator, not a crystal one, a ceramic one. It's the ceramic ones we want. So all we do is the same as we've done with the other one. This one actually has two. So we've got this right, pretty large one. And then we got a little mini one here. And then that's that done. That's all of them. You're, you doing them might be a bit slower just because I've got a box of them already ready with the ceramic oscillators on. Has this one got any? It's going to be kind of hard to do them with these boards just because a lot of them have like bits of metal over them. But all we can do is just go through them. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's one here. Another wet day today, so it slows us down a little bit. all of them off that if you are subscribed make sure 100% that you are subscribed because YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people from uh, the channel so just look below and see I've been losing quite a few subscribers lately that's just because I had a long break from uh, YouTube and it's unsubscribed a lot of people because obviously they've not been watching my videos and nobody's noticed, so definitely check. Not all these are walkie talkies, some are phones, and this one looks like it was some slot to something, not quite sure. But I just checked everything which is close enough to a phone board, like similarly put together. I'm just checked them together. I'm just going to check if these metal caps come off. I might do a scrap mouth and a dirt, no, you don't really. But for the little ones that out we can't get to, I'll use my other chisel if I can just find that out. Uh, there it is. You shouldn't read it from this angle, you should do it from the other angle, but it's got the metal big piece in the way. It's kind of sometimes they break up, that one's alright. And it looks like that's the only one. There's probably most likely more underneath these metal caps. But obviously you can't get to them. I've got about 10 kilos of these I want to do in a video soon. There's a few things there. I've got some gold plating on the outside. But under here, we of course have the gold contacts. I'll just lift it off. So 
So I'll definitely do these separately in a video, and then you can see it's got the nice gold contacts. Never board here. A few bits of rubber in the way. Metal cap come off of that. Uh, as you can see here, stickers in the way. Underneath the sticker, we've got another ceramic oscillator. They vary the oscillators. Some will have like a crystal inside, a bit like a silver, uh, just like the metal silver ones you get. But it'd be gold plated. And obviously, the gold brazen on the outside is really thick gold. But some would be like that. And the majority of the newer ones, I believe, should be better because they're bond wires, pure gold wires. So I'm not sure if they'll actually be better. A lot of these won't, won't be the bond wire ones, they'll be the ones with um, like a crystal inside. That one, as you can see, is square, but it's also one. Use a little chisel for it. See, that's come off. I did do a video where I removed them with a uh, mini blowtorch because my thing kept breaking them up, but it actually works this way. As you can see, this one's the one with bomb wires. You can't really see on camera, but it does have a fair few bomb wires going up. The tack cap just broke off, is the reason I'm able to show you. They don't rattle, they break up, because to process them, the majority of people just smash them up anyway. Easy way of doing it. Obviously, if they do break up, there's a good chance you're going to lose a few of the bomb wires, so you don't get as much gold, but not too much of a problem. Uh, there's none on that side. There's one there. Quite a big one. Obviously the bigger ones aren't going to yield as much by weight, but by piece they'll see what's more. Because the bigger they are, the more ceramic there is. There's a little mini one here, just there. You probably can't even see on camera, I can barely even see it, it's that small, but we get it all. Uh, I'm going to include lifting these, not this one step to the chisel, I'm going to include lifting the caps on that off just because every single person that does it, even if they're not lifting the caps up of things, they're still going through boards to find boards which have them on. I could see that one was poking out the cap, that's the only reason I lifted it up. Big one here. Good thing is because they're ceramic, they're really heavy. And the fact that they yield a lot by weight is nice. Just gonna have one. I mean, this one definitely will have one under the caps, but we ain't going to get to that without a um, heat gun. Again, that one's not. There's one that has one. We'll obviously go just over an hour because I did the intro at the start and all that. Any on the side?
I'm sure this one will have one on show. Yeah, there's two there. I think it's the same one as we were doing earlier on the video. I had a little tiny one. Right there. Half it come off. So you're gonna have to dry these before I weigh them. Rain, raining constantly. A big and a little one here again. So it's holding this one down, real strong. Right down on a break up. Obviously the best way for you to do it is to sort the boards out before you uh, do them like I've done here. And you can just get through them real quick. And chip them off at the same time. I can see the camera was going. Where the oscillator went. It's weird. I thought I saw another one there. Mm, don't know where that went. I've got one. It's a mess. It's nice having different sized chisels. If you haven't, I'd definitely uh, get some. Weird one, but definitely one. I like those, those always have um, gold on the bottom of these. So you can see two poking up. On these walkie talkie ones, they do. You can see the gold poking up in that one. But it's not what we're looking for today. few on this board and there's three four it's a lot there's a little one here There's another little one right here. It's like a medium sized one right here. Because they're ceramic, they're not strong, so you want to make sure your chisel's straight when you're hammering it.
sticks with chisels some of them. This one broke up a little bit, let the broken pieces go in. Big one there. And this one because the board's broken it's going to be quite hard. Right now it's high. Dropped it then, got it back there. They seem to be magnetic for some reason. Some people only take the big ones. Up to you, which one do you go for? I'm going for both just because I can. <laughs> and because I'm doing these boards for other people and actually my own boards, so I want to get every metal out for them. Big one, big board here. No spaces on there. Off again. I thought this one would have one on show. No. And it's the exact same board as. Oh no. This one has one. They're replaced, they were obviously replaced with the gold bottomed um, crystal oscillator. They look like the exact same ball, just the only difference is that crystal oscillator is in, that, in its place instead.
I can feel it coming off then. I'll do this way just in case it flies off. Oh, 21 minutes and barely removed anything. It's quite slow today. The few people I've seen them get um, about 10 grams of gold per kilo, but from years I've heard of people, it's been up anywhere between 5 to 10. So uh, these on average by weight is anywhere between 5 to 10 times better than IC chips I was doing before. So of course I'm not going to have, after an hour, a pot of IC chips like I used to with the uh, scrap marathons, IC chip ones. If I get five times less, five, ten times less, anywhere between that, it's going to be just as good still. I got a new tripod, that's the reason my camera's at the right angle now, don't know if I mentioned.
I'm sure a lot of these will have way more underneath the metal caps, but we'll see that in another video when I do the do them. I think we're just about to complete this box by the end because we must be coming up to about halfway through now and we're nearly halfway through the box. I still want another six boxes if I need to, like six or seven boxes, I don't know how many I've got, I'm just guessing. In the back, I can just drag another one out. I'll do some go through boards, seal boards have them. Many boards you'll find with them on, they're not hard to find. They're literally just a metal cap with gold braze around the outside and a ceramic, you've noticed them. I really need to get a new camera, better quality. Be nice. Much easier as right will be. I've got two boxes of um, these boards out here with me. The rest are in my shed, so we'll see what it comes. If we can get both boxes done, if we can, that'd be good. I'll also record the recovery of doing these once I get 
a few kilos up, obviously I'm not just going to do them what everyone would be doing in the video. I want to get a kilo at all, so first. I'm going to aim to get exactly one kilo. As soon as I hit a kilo, the video will come out. These are actually the old style ones. The new ones are the exact same, but the old style will have a... That normally has a cap on it. Metal cap, and it's actually got another one underneath. So all the ones I've just been doing, we've had two at least. It's good. And a... Um, the older ones I'm doing are the old style ones, they'll have, they won't have bomb wires a lot of these. They'll have a crystal inside, a bit like a crystal oscillator does. A gold plated one. I don't know if that's a good thing, if it means it's going to yield more, I reckon it'll be less. But, be worth seeing. If I can get at least 5 grams of gold per kilo, which seems to be like the minimum what people's getting, but I don't know. If I can get that much, I'll be happy. I get all the gold out, obviously, but I'd be happy with 5 grams from a kilo. If I get 10 then that would be nice, even nicer. I keep worrying about knocking it over, but if it does fall over, nothing's going to fall out. It's all wet in there now. It's all stuck. <laughs> I dry it out as much as I can before weighing. Obviously, you don't really want to be doing this in the wet because the bond wires are coming off some of them where they um, broke up. The ones which I do have bond wires. I don't think any of these walkie-talkie ones do. I think it's just the ones with... Um, just these blue balled ones and things like that hopefully the crystal has massively thick gold plating inside to make up for the uh, not having bomb wires broke up a bit. So we've done so far. Not too many but like I said hopefully there should be plenty of gold in it still. How far through are we? Just over half an hour. Yeah, we'll definitely get this box done. Move on to another noise with that, or I might move on to just doing boards. The only reason I'm not doing the board, doing them just from normal standard boards, is just because it'd be boring. Me sorting through, and finding one just like I done with the um, Gold Corner BGAs at the start. At the end of the video, I stopped. If you skipped, uh, skipped at the start, just quit the video at the start, definitely check back at it and uh, skip through it a bit because I ended up just sorting them out into a big pile and it's going through nice and quick. But those type of videos I find get boring. So I uh, I'm just gonna do them like this. Hopefully they'll be a bit better.
let me know in the description any type of videos you want me to uh, make. The majority of them normally are hidden down with the uh, metal piece on these type of boards anyway. On um, vinyl boards they're not, but they're normally hidden away on this type, just because they're so fragile. Obviously being ceramic. The metal version, the crystal oscillator, is almost worthless unless they have a gold plated bottom. I'll also do a video on doing the gold plated bottoms and just seeing what they yield. Don't know if it'd be much, I'm sure it'd be something, but it'd be cool to see. I wouldn't have a clue on what they're worth. If anyone has done them, let me know in the comments. Cool board here, pretty vintage. So there's one of the uh, little crystal there. It has the gold plate bottom. I've probably got a few hundred grams of them now, hopefully. I'll definitely get a few hundred grams of these boards, I'd have thought anyway, the um, foam boards. Won't be enough to do a yield. I can't see why they'd need much, but I can imagine it's going to be a thick plate in any way. Oh, that come off fast. Barely touched it. Some of these just have the uh, gold plated crystal oscillators rather than the uh, ceramic oscillator. As soon as I see one, I know there's not going to be a ceramic oscillator in, I just have to check in the box. So the reason sometimes there'll be two of the same board and one of them I'll just stick straight in the box and one I'll remove the ceramic oscillator off just because I saw the uh, crystal oscillator on it instead. Also, as you get through them, you're quicker and quicker, as you've noticed. Legs are aching from leaning down. I'm not going to need this chisel now. It's 
I'm gonna use the small one because the small one works well enough. I stick my foot finger over it in case it flies off. This one's quite modern. So this one will definitely have bomb wires in. I think it's just a standard uh, walkie talkie board, not really too old. That, it's not one. There's a lot of stuff I wouldn't have removed before. I'm starting to remove now, you'll see in future videos. And the only reason that is just because the uh, gold price is higher. Before I would have left it back when gold price was at 30 pounds per kilo, 30 UK pounds. And now it's closer to 50. It's obviously 70% like higher. Because it's so much higher. It's, it means uh, removing stuff you want double, nearly double the money. Hopefully the gold price will stay for a lot longer, I think it will do. That box looks pretty dry now. <laughs> it's stopped raining, so only a little bit of water got in there at the start, and I think there it's all soaked it up. And there's quite a few in there. No, that's not got one. Has that box done of um, foam boards with 45 minutes in? Right, well, probably just under 45. Okay. Got the next box.
Another box of boards, the same boards. I wonder. One sec. So I was just checking some out. Carry on. Got another about quarter of an hour or so to do. Bound to already come off. You can see where it used to be, must have fallen off at some point. Some of them are quite fragile, they just fall off so easily. But some of them just don't want to move. Obviously, if you're doing them, the chance are you're going to get less in an hour, just because mine's all walkie-talkie, unless you have boards that are walkie-talkies like this, where you can just pick them up and quickly knock it off. The chance are you're going to be going through boards and finding boards which um, don't have them. If you've got your boards sorted, you'll probably get the same as this, if not more. Just the fact the ones on motherboards seem to be a bit even bigger sometimes. Although some foam board ones would be eight times bigger than the ones which are already here. You can get some really big ones sometimes. In fact, I'll show you. Massive one right there. Don't look too big, but when you grab an average size one and put it next to it. The average size one's that little one. That is quite a large average size one. What was next to it? That one's been taken off already as well. And that one. I must have got to them at some point. I think uh, I removed a few from the top of that box. And that must have been the few which are still at the top. I remember doing, because that's how I knew that they... Uh, a lot of those ones didn't have bomb wires, they just had... Um, like a crystal inside. This one's just got stuck between two components. There you go. That one's been taken off as well. These uh, don't contain them on show. Remove that one. Two big ones on here, it's nice. It's because the cap come off this one as well, so all these type this type of board I've been doing. There's been some hidden under the caps again. 
if I can move the caps with a chisel, I'll uh, do a video on just taking all the caps off and we'll see what's underneath them. And then a video after that, maybe doing some components from them. All these balls together, because I think there's about 200 kilos of these walkie-talkie balls, which are basically the same as foam boards. It's going to be a good month's work just from just doing them. They take so much longer than a normal average board. I don't really want to be heat gunning them off because not only will I be breathing in there fumes from hundreds of kilos, obviously just having a fuse all right, but when you're doing so many. Also, they're normally wet because <laughs> the weather and it just takes too long. So I want to really be able to just chisel everything off quick. This one has bomb wires left. Let's see if I can get this channel across, that's a good part of its value. Not done. See in here. Let's just have to move them ready because that board had, that's how we board had quite a few before. I'm definitely going to have me. Move this uh, cover. We've got another one. I do keep getting the people asking to buy my boards off me. I cannot sell them because they're not my boards, I do them for people. Uh, none of them for sale eventually I might have my own boards out for sale one day but for now there isn't any I've got for sale that battery got oh plenty normally by now I'm nearly out Got quite a few done there so far. We haven't got long left. I don't know about many in there, but these are a lot heavier than IC chips as well, so not only are they worth more by weight, they're a lot heavier, so it's obviously I don't need to have a tub half full up to be able to get 100 grams. That's not going to be anywhere near 100 grams there, I wouldn't have thought, but 100 grams should be anywhere between half and one gram of gold. And obviously I 
be nice if that did happen, but I don't think that will happen in an hour. When I remove chips, I normally remove about 200 grams in an hour. Obviously including small ones, just like I'm doing here. About 200 grams in one hour. So on average that's about 0.2 grams of gold. And to get 0.2 grams of gold from these, I'd need between... Uh, how many would I need? About 20 to 40 grams of um, of these would be this I mean I've aren't the same in an hour as if I was doing uh, IC chips. Kind of between 20 to 40 grams. Obviously, again, IC chips are vary. You can get a gram of gold, you can get two grams of gold, you can get no gold, but I'm basing that off the average I get, which is a gram a kilo, the average I'm always getting from. Have a mind done. I'm sure there's at least 20 to 40, anywhere between 20 to 40 grams of um, lemon here anyway. Again, I've never actually done ceramic oscillators, I've never had enough. And I've always just, uh, just sold them, because I've never had enough. Whereas now I decided to keep them and obviously I can process them myself now because I know how to refine. So I'm going to get them all off and uh, see what they will yield for myself. Do this board and then check how far through we are. Not quite an hour, almost. On my camera, it says 58 minutes. That's including the introducing, introducing it and sorting the box out and all that. So we go to one hour and a little tiny, like one hour and a couple of minutes. And have another two minutes or whatever on. Picking out the ones about uh, <laughs> some oscillators now. Again, it's not got one. Two little ones. <laughs> 